be walking you through how to create an online sign-in sheet for your open house. So I'm here into KW Command, and I'm going to scroll down here to Sites. I have the landing pages tab open, and I'm going to click Create New Site. Do I want it to go onto my current agent site or as a standalone page? I'm going to have it as a standalone page. And here we go. This is going to be for 9825 Wildcat Ridge Open House. So we're going to name it up at the top first to save it. All right, so you can see that I do have a blank slate here. However, I have these widgets over here on the right toolbar that will help me put the items into place. So I'm going to first start with my branded header. This is going to be all of my uh, my information for them. They're going to see this as soon as they open up the web page. Now, normally I would not put a lead form at the top. However, in this case, I am. So I'm going to put the lead form as the first big item that they're going to see on the page. Next from there, I'm going to put information about the listing. So you notice that I'm dragging each of these items and you see where the green bar goes is where this is going to be placed. So I'm going to put it below the listing lead form. And here we go. I don't like there to be too much information here, simply because I want them to sign in and then get to touring the home and allow the next person to come sign in as well. So from here, I'm going to click Configure Widgets. And I can customize each of these that I uploaded. So I can add a header, so I might put Welcome to Wildcat Ridge, which is the community. I can put welcome to today's open house, whatever it is. I want to make sure that all of this information here is accurate. My logo, if you have a team logo, you can upload that. Save and apply. You can see the header here. I'm going to select the next widget that I uploaded, which is the lead form. So I can customize the interested let's talk. I can put, please sign in. Thank you for registering. You can come up with something catchy. Save and apply. And then here is the listing. So I can upload the listing from the MLS, which is really nice. So I'm going to type in the property address. And I know that this is the listing because you can tell the listing agent is my team lead, Keller Williams Arlington office, select. And from here, you'll notice all of the photos automatically upload. So I can change this front photo to something that's going to be very, you know, capturing. So I'm going to select it and click save and apply. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's a great photo. Okay, I'm happy with that. And you'll notice it is automatically putting in the information from the MLS for you. So that they can browse through a little bit, learn a little bit about the community. It has a slideshow of the photos, the details and features of it, and then it even puts it on the map so that they can see where they're at. All right, I'm really happy. So I'm going to save and apply. I'm going to go back. I'm done with the widgets. And if you wanted to add any more in, you could absolutely do that as well. And I'm going to publish page. Would you like to publish this as a landing page? This will make it visible to others. Yes. So now what I can do is as soon as this is finished saving, I can show you what it looks like when you go to an open house.
All right, so if I click here and I go to the URL, I'm gonna either take my tablet or my laptop and I'm going to have this, 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 this page at the open house for viewers to come and sign in with. So they can come sign in. Click I'm not a bot. Send. The information has been submitted and it starts back over. That lead is actually going to go straight into command contacts. So you'll want to make sure that at the end of the open house that you're going in there and contacting all of those leads. Hope this was beneficial for you. And if you have any comments or suggestions, let me know.